Hello everyone. I am Kapila, your English teacher, and today we'll read the chapter The Friendly Mongoose. The pronunciation is mongoose. It's the story of a farmer, his wife, and his small son. The farmer thinks that there is no friend for my son, so let me go and get a pet. So he gets the pet as the mongoose, that is the friend of the baby. And one day the farmer's wife went to the market and he told the farmer to take care of the child but the farmer also went to the fields for some work and the baby was left alone with the mongoose let's see in the story what happened then let's begin reading once a farmer and his wife lived in a village with their small son they loved him very much we must have a pet the farmer said to his wife one day when our son grows up he will need a companion companion is somebody who is there to play and talk to right that is a companion a friend this pet will be our son's companion his wife liked the idea so both the farmer and the wife they were having a conversation they were talking to each other and the farmer suggested that when the son would grow up he would want a friend and the pet animal that they would get would be his friend and the wife also liked the idea the wife said okay to the, uh, to the bringing of the pet one evening the farmer brought with him a tiny mongoose it's a baby mongoose said his wife but will soon be fully grown he will be a friend to our son both the baby and the mongoose grew in 5 or 6 months the mongoose had grown to its full size a lovely animal with two shining black eyes and a bushy tail lots of hair were there on the tail so it was a bushy tail the farmer's son was still a baby in the cradle cradle is a small bed you know it's it is you can give swings also to the cradle or a crib what you call small babies they sleep in them sleeping and crying alternately so in 6 months the baby remained small only but the mongoose it became a fully grown animal right one day the farmer's wife wanted to go to the market she fed the baby and rocked him to sleep in his little cradle rocking is giving swings like this to the cradle picking up the basket she said to her husband i am off to the bazaar the baby is sleeping keep an eye on him keep an eye on him is watch him guard him look after him frankly i don't like to leave the child alone with the mongoose so why did he tell that to the farmer that keep an eye on the baby because he did not trust the mongoose he didn't she didn't like to keep the baby alone there with the mongoose so she instructed she told him that you keep an eye on the baby you needn't be afraid said the farmer the mongoose is a friendly animal it's as sweet as our baby and they are the best of friends you know so the farmer he really trusted the animal and he consoled the wife by saying that they were the best of friends and she need not worry she should not worry about the child the wife went away and the farmer having nothing to do in the house decided to go out and take a look at his fields not far away so the fields of the farmer they were nearby only so he thought that he should go because there was no work at home baby was also sleeping so he went away to the fields he ran into some friends ran into some friends is met some friends here ran doesn't means running into friends rather it means like that only you know he met some friends on the way back and didn't return for quite some time because he met the friends there they must have entered into talks they were talking to each other laughing giggling you know friends how time passes by so they were talking and he did not return home the farmer's wife finished her shopping and came back home with a basket full of groceries groceries are you know the pulses rice sugar etc all these uh, materials that we get from the grocer shop that is groceries you need the household things the supplies 
for the uh, cooking etc and the daily chores that is groceries she saw the mongoose sitting outside as if waiting for her on seeing her he ran to welcome her as was customary customary is as was the habit it was the habit like you know dogs when the master comes the dogs also they run they lick the master they are happy they start you know uh, touching with their paws similarly the mongoose also he was into a habit it was customary of him he ran towards the wife the farmer's wife took one look at the mongoose and screamed blood she cried the face and paws of the mongoose was smeared with blood smeared is he was all covered with blood face and the paws so she cried because she thought he, the mongoose must have eaten my baby she was in a panic situation you wicked animal you've killed my baby she screamed hysterically hysterically is madly she became mad because she thought that the baby was killed by the mongoose she was blind with rage rage is anger she became so angry that she could not see anything she could not think also of anything and with all her strength because of the blindness now blindness is not actually being blind with the eyes blindness is she could not see actually what was there she could only see superficially the blood that was there on the face and the pause of the mongoose so with anger she her thoughts they were paused and she was so angry that with all the strength that she had she took the basket and she threw the basket on the mongoose with all her strength brought down the heavy basket full of groceries on the blood smeared mongoose and ran inside to the child's cradle she didn't bother to see what had happened to the mongoose whether the mongoose was dead or alive but she was only angry and angry she just wanted to know what had happened to the child the baby was fast asleep but on the floor lay a black snake torn and bleeding in a flash she realized what had happened so you know when she went inside she saw that the baby was sleeping peacefully but on the floor there was a black snake and it had been torn into pieces and she immediately in a flash immediately instantly she understood that the blood that was there on the face of the mongoose and the paws of the mongoose was of this snake only and she realized her mistake that mistakenly she had thrown that basket full of groceries on the mongoose she ran out looking for the mongoose oh you saved my child you killed the snake what have i done she cried touching the mongoose who lay dead and still so she ran out because she understood what the reality was she ran out and she found there that it lay dead and still unaware of her sobbing she was crying she was sobbing but the mongoose did not know of it the mongoose was dead there and she was bitterly weeping and crying and sobbing the farmer's wife who had acted hastily and rashly hastily is very quickly without thinking anything and rashly is very badly she had acted right stared long at the dead mongoose then she heard the baby crying wiping her tears she went in to feed him so we should not act hastily this is what we learn from this story we should use our wits and be patient and then take any action now let us do the question answers question 1 why did the farmer bring a baby mongoose into the house the farmer brought a baby mongoose into the house because he wanted to give a companion to his son question 2 why didn't the farmer's wife want to leave the baby alone with the mongoose so from the question itself we'll take the answer the farmer's wife did not want to leave the baby alone with the mongoose because she did not trusted the animal question 
what was the farmer's comment on his wife's fears the farmer commented that the wife should not fear and that both of them the son and the mongoose had become best of friends and she should not take any tension of the baby why did the farmer's wife strike the mongoose with her basket the farmer's wife struck the mongoose with her basket because she was very angry and thought that the mongoose had killed the baby question 5 did she repent her hasty action how does she show her repentance yes she repented on her hasty action she showed it by crying now this is your homework do you have a pet a cat or a dog if not would you like one how would you look after it are you for or against keeping birds in a cage as pets so all these questions answers you will write as your homework okay now this was a very beautiful story giving us a lesson that we should not act hastily so you all should learn a lesson do not act hastily don't take decisions very quickly think and be patient we'll meet in the next video with some such more stories till then take care